Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 4.8 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 4.8 is about dividing using partial quotients and we're just going to go through the lesson here. So it says, at camp there are 5 players on each lacrosse team. If there are 125 people on lacrosse teams, how many teams are there? So our problem is 125 divided by 5. So partial quotients here, what that means is you're going to try to think of smaller numbers that would add up to 125 that you can divide, like basically three smaller in this case, three smaller problems in which the numbers will add up to 125. So kind of like we were doing the other day with the distributed property. Um, so let's, let's just go through this over here. It says 125 divided by 5. So I'm going to say three numbers that add up to 125 could be 50, 50, and 25. These will be easier division problems for me to solve than just doing 5 into 125. So I know that 5 fits into 50 10 times. So if I subtract 50 from 125, I will get 75. And then if I subtract 50 again, I'll get 25, and I've, I subtract then my last 25, I'll get 0. So 5 fits into 50 10 times. 5 fits into this 50 10 times. 5 fits into 25 5 times. So all together, 10 plus 10 plus 5, 10 plus 10 plus 5 is 25. So my answer to 125 divided by 5 is 25. So just to kind of recap, what I did was I thought of three easier numbers to divide by that added up to 125. Those three numbers were 50, 50, and 25. Then after I had those three numbers, I just divided each of them by 5. I got these numbers or these answers as my partial products, added them together to get my quotient. So I'm going to show you another one really quick. I'm going to pretend like I was given the problem 330 divided by 3. And I'm going to say that I could choose to break up that 330 into 300 and then also 30. So each time I'm subtracting from my original, 330 minus 300 is, is 30 and 30 minus 30 is 0. So that lets me know that these really do add up to 330. So then I'm going to divide. I'm going to say how many times does 3 fit into 300? It fits in 100 times. And how many times does 3 fit into 30? It fits in 10 times. And then I'm going to add my 100 and my 10 and get 110 for my final quotient or my final answer. So 330 divided by 3 is 110. I'm going to do one more. So let's pretend that I had the problem um, 184 divided by 8. 184 divided by 8. I'm going to choose to break up that 184 into 80 and 80 and 24. So in other words, 80 plus 80 plus 24 would give me that 184. So if I do 184 one minus 80, I would have 104. 
And then if I had 104 minus 80, I would have 24. And then 24 minus 24 is 0. So if I get down to 0, I know I've done my problems right. So my division problems, my three division problems, are going to be 80 divided by 8, 80 divided by 8, and 24 divided by 8. So the first one, 80 divided by 8, that gives me 10. Second one is the same problem, 80 divided by 8, so 10 again. The last one is 24 divided by 8, so 24 divided by 8 is 3. So these are my partial products, 10, 10, and 3. I add those together, and I get 23. So my answer or my quotient to 184 divided by 8 is 23. So basically, again, this is the same thing as the distributive property for the most part. You're just breaking up your dividend into numbers that are easier to divide by. The answers to those new division problems are called your partial products, and you add your partial products to find the final quotient. If you're in my class, I want you to write down the password is balloon. And if you have any questions, leave me a message. Thanks.